Hello friends, Stephen Talbot here, and today is still Sunday, October 22nd. Um, so I decided not to go all the way to Cookville, um, as you can tell I'm bald. So I spent so much time, this is the first time I've ever been completely bald and it feels so strange. My head is like, when I put my hand, you know, it feels like it, my head's cold, it's so weird. But, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean! I like it, though. I can't do it very loud. <laughs> anyway. So. Sorry, I thought I heard a ghost. So I decided not to uh, go all the way to Cookville today. But I did go, probably about halfway. And I'm at Cedars of Lebanon. So. Whoa. Wee. Okay. Oh, there's trees, falling trees everywhere, see? Um. Ooh. I swear to God, I'm gonna get hypnotized to not be scared of bugs. God help me. I haven't seen spiders up in here. And I no lucky, no spider. Me no lucky. And I walk through, you know, there's tons of people that already walked through today, but I keep feeling like I'm, especially with my bald head. I do have a hat, but I decided to take it. See? My hat, my hat right there. Whew. I decided to uh, take my hat off so you guys can see my bald head. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of my baldness. Um, so yeah, I'm at Cedars of Lebanon. It's about... Well, I-24 was closed today, so it literally, and that's the reason I didn't go to Cookville, actually. I was waiting to take a left turn onto Hermitage Avenue, Hermitage Avenue from downtown because all of the 24 East, um, it, it's completely closed down. So I had to drive all the way down Hermitage Avenue to get on the interstate, and I was literally waiting in line to, to make the left off of Korean Veterans Boulevard for probably two hours. It's, oh, excuse me. It sucked. Um, so I decided to come to Cedars of Lebanon instead. And I'm certainly glad that I did. It's beautiful. You can see all the stuff going on behind me. Look. Dun, 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 dun. And I keep coming through. Can you see? I, man, I swear, when I look at the, the stuff on the video, and I actually see it in person, obviously, just like with most things in nature and beauty, my camera, unfortunately, just does not do it justice. Does not give it justice. Um, so, you'll just have to take my word for it. It's gorgeous. There are eight miles of hiking trails here. Um, I think there are four different trailheads. Um, I decided to do the longest one today. So, I'm doing a five-mile loop. And I'm probably... God, I have no idea how far I'm into it. Uh, I'm probably not even halfway yet, I think. Something like that, I'm not really sure. So, I'm new to, ooh, that's a weird looking bug, honey. She is neon green. Oh my God. Mm -mm. No, man. Not today, not today. Today is not that bug's day to be fucking with me. Cause I will scream like a girl and have the damn park ranger out here. <laughs> just kidding well actually who knows it was a neon green bug the brighter the color of the bug the more I want to stay away from them mother things actually that's not even try entirely true uh, things that blend in with the environment are probably even scarier who knows so uh, so I'm pretty new to state parks and uh, I've I, I've decided to sort of set a goal I want to hit every state park in Tennessee that has hiking trails. Or, hell, maybe I should hit all of them anyways. I don't know. But uh, either I'm going to hit every one of them in Tennessee in the next 12 months. Or, and I think we have, I don't know, 80? God, so I'd have to go. Oh, you know what? That may not be possible. I'm thinking at maximum. I mean, I'm thinking one a week. If I do one a week, that'll be 52 in a year so maybe in the next what 18 months i'll hit all of them or if i just do the ones that have hiking trails 
then yeah, I can do that in the next year. So this park is about 45-ish minutes from Nashville. Um, it's out in Lebanon, which is east, due east, 40 east, out 40 east. You can get there on 109. Uh, you can go 40 east, 109, out by Gallatin. Uh, anyway, they have, so this is the first state park that I've been to that has like a big camp, a lot, a lot of campsites. They actually have cabins. They even have like a really big cabin for really large groups, which is great. Um, look, it's so weird. So as I'm walking, I keep coming to these like big open areas and they're just, why are these open areas here? I don't understand. A lot of them have, are these natural? Or are these not natural? Look, check it out. See, there's no road, that's just gravel. It's like in the middle of the forest and it's right off the trail. Um, this is probably the third third one and there's gravel everywhere. I don't know if that means it's not natural or not. Who knows, but I keep passing these. Pretty cool. Okay, I think I was going this way. So, they have cabins. They have an Olympic size swimming pool that's open from Memorial Day to Labor Day. They have a huge group cabin that holds like 50 people or something. They have a bunch of, you know, picnic share shelter areas and stuff. Uh, obviously, they have restroom facilities, bath. They have a bathroom facility or a, a shower facilities. Um, there's a really nice, one of the nicest, one of the nicer. You know, a lot. I think our state parks are understaffed. I don't know how long we've been. They've been understaffed, but this is actually the first one I've been to that had somebody that it, where it was staffed. Um, most of them just are like, you know, self-help maps and stuff that you can pick up oh probably because of the cabins they probably have to have someone here to check people in um, I will leave more information in the description uh, of about the state park the price on the cabin rentals and the campsites um, it's pretty reasonable uh, like you can get a, a cabin that sleeps up to four that has a kitchen and bathrooms and stuff for about $140 a night there's a two night minimum and a three night minimum weekends um what else hmm. what else honey what else y'all need to know oh they have stables horsebacks uh, or ho horseback horseback riding uh horses they have um like i said an olympic size swimming pool that's seasonally open and it's huge it looks like they have a lot of lifeguards they have diamond boards it looks really really large um, there are, what else? I can't think of what else. What else is critical? Pets. Um, walk with Steven. And your pet if you have one. Here you can bring your pets. Um, not all the trails, um, all the trails don't allow pets, but some of them do. There's a paved trail here, which is always nice, uh, for runners. Some of the trail, I've noticed that some of the trails that go through the woods, uh, in the various state parks I've been to so far will say no running allowed but who the hell's going to stop you if you run right if you want to run run but just be careful because you don't want to trip over and hurt yourself um they do have a paved one here that's like a walk run trail um uh, first time I've seen a state park say this is a trash can less park I saw a sign that said we uh, this is a trash can less park literally it said trash can less See, look, here's another little open area. This one's actually on the trail. It's kind of eerie out here. Spook, spooky. Spooky just in time for Halloween. Halloween. I love Halloween. I'm very excited about Halloween, by the way. Which I talked about on my previous video, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, what else, guys? What else would you like to know? Um, uh, bi uh, bikes. So they do allow bikes. Not, ooh. You'll have to double check. No bikes are allowed on the trail that I'm on, which is, this is the longest trail. It's a five mile loop. Pretty sure that there are some, cause there's horseback trails as well. So I'm pretty sure you can ride bikes on those. And there's like a lot of paved area as well. Um, now, if you're interested in mountain biking trails, the only park that I've been to so far that has mountain biking trails um, is, 
I don't think cedar, I mean, I don't think, um, so I have other videos. I have one for Radnor Lake. I don't think they allow them. I have one for Edwin Warner Park, Percy Warner Park. They do have mountain biking trails, so if you're interested in mountain biking, go make sure, be sure to check those videos out. I'll leave it, I'll leave a link in the description below. And, um, what else? As I find out more, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for supporting my, you know, my, uh, project, not project, but my ambition to get myself on YouTube. This has been fun. I've already, I've already done two, I think 232 videos. Uh, not all of them are vlogs, you know, where I, like my face is on them. A lot of them are travel videos, but I've at least done, I'd say at least over, I think I'm probably over a hundred by now. Um, I hope you can still hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So anyway, I think I've done over a hundred by now. So. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm still not the best at like continuing to be loud when uh, there's people around. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Check this out. I don't know if you can tell this or not, but... It goes way down in there. I would not want to fall in that bitch. I would not want to fall in that hole. Okay. So, as always, my spiel, my spiel. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. If you find them valuable, entertaining, resourceful, funny, be sure to share them with your family and your friends. Share the love. Share the love with everyone, please. Um, yeah, if you like this particular video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, ideas, or if you think I'm cute, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, enjoy yourself.